If you're a fan of old school bodybuilding, then make sure to check out Subs the Movie. Filmmaker Alex Ardenti explores the $40 billion sports supplement industry, delving into the origins, evolution, and current state of supplements used by millions of fitness enthusiasts worldwide, available at Amazon and Vimeo. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookham here. A short one, I promise a short one. Um, not that it has to be short, but here we have some very, very cool books from the US, sent by, by my contact in the US. Written by the very great author, Earl Liederman. Wow. Some of these books I've never even seen before, such as Endurance by Earl Liederman. Man, these books are all hardcover and extremely rare, written in the 20s. I, I can't wait to get my, <laughs> to, to start reading these, right? Muscle Building. Look at these hardcovers. They're not just hardcovers. They're works of art, for God's sake. Look at that by Earl Liederman, Muscle Building. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at these chest expanders being used and, and dumbbells and, and swing bells and, and all these different techniques. Sandow, yeah, yeah. I mean, look at that. Look at that stuff. Beautiful. Muscle Building. Oh, it's my battery saying it's going to die. Secrets of Strength. Secrets of Strength. Again, the hardcovers back then were truly amazing. Look at that. Secrets of Strength by Earl Liederman. Lovely. I think this was written in 1924. And I'm pretty sure it talks about... Yes, it does. Oh my god. It talks about the strongmen of the past. Look at that. Look at that beautiful photo. Man. This is some awesome stuff. The size of this guy. Damn. Damn. Well before steroids. Jesus. These guys were massive back then. And strong. Sando again, of course. Oh boy. Oh boy. And in her last one here. The science of wrestling and the art of jiu-jitsu. Look at the beauty. Appreciate this hardcover. This... This should be framed. I mean, damn, look at the... <laughs> I'm speechless. Look at the um, detail. It's just beautiful. Wow. Of course, beautiful glossy photographs found throughout. I love these old books. Man, these old books are something else. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Earl Liederman, wonderful books. We'll eat these up. <laughs> we'll hopefully scan them and have them available on my website too. Now I just want to show off uh, these particular books from Earl Liederman as well. These have actually also come in. And I actually want to show you the difference between some of these old books and the new ones. There's really no comparison. Especially when you can compare the books back to back, like we got here, the original Science of Wrestling and the Art of Jiu-Jitsu versus the modern version, both available of course. One, you have to really search for this book, the other one's available on Amazon, this you'd have to search on eBay or some special books dealer like I do, um, who can actually find these for you. Of course, there's nothing like getting the hardcover original uh, just like the other books that I just showed. I mean, just look at the detail here. You don't get 3D books anymore. And back in the day, when physical culture was truly an art form, you could really see how they appreciated their audience as well by rewarding them with such beautiful pieces. I mean, look at that. It, this book is probably about 100 years old. And you can see the two men fighting here. Uh, on the cover of Science of Wrestling and the Art of Jiu-Jitsu. And when you compare that, of course, to the, yeah, unexciting <laughs> paperback. Sure, it's got two guys wrestling, but, you know, <laughs> no comparison to what uh, artwork they really put. And, um, you know, how they really presented these books in wonderful form. And, you know, they were hardcover, so these lasted... A lifetime. 
from 1923, so exactly 99 years. And sure, the uh, contents inside are just as good. You know, I mean, these, these photos are fantastic. All on glossy paper, excuse me, and I'm looking and I'm not showing you. Um, the layouts are, are usually better than what you see nowadays. See, like, you can tell already that the images are not as good. The paper is not glossy. And the layout is very bland and plain, you know. Same content, I guess, and that's what most people care about. And sure, you'd have to fork out way more money for acquiring a book like this, unless you get really lucky. But yeah, I just want to really show the difference. Um, and I did promise it was going to be a short video, but yeah, now it's getting long. Uh, here we have the rest of Earl Liedemann's books. Um, you know, he talks about, this is the wonderful thing, physical culture, bodybuilding back then, wasn't just about putting on slabs of muscle. It was about everything. It was about pugilism, the art of of fighting, the art of applying your strength, your muscle, to fighting, or to speed, the and the ability to, to apply it in strength. Here we have a discussion of from L. Liederman, Inherited and Acquired Strength. By the way, all these new books that you're seeing, they are, of course, based on old booklets that L. Liederman produced, and these are actually available on Amazon, fairly cheap. And um, it's very difficult to find the original booklets. I am trying to acquire them one by one because usually information is lost, like photos or other things in the new reproductions. But nevertheless, here's another one. Just read the title, The Advantage of Powerful Lungs. This is exactly the stuff I'm talking about. Who today talks about the, the efficiency of having well uh, functioning organs in relation to bodybuilding, especially in a time of steroids where people are dying, where you know you hear about people not being able to digest food properly, not being able to walk up you know a flight of stairs without you know passing out or feeling like they're going to faint because their heart and lungs aren't functioning properly. So you know that's what physical culture and bodybuilding was about back then, developing strength and applying it, and having a very efficient organic system that supported the growth of muscle and the acquirement of strength. I mean, these booklets are fantastic. How to build strength. Look at that. George Hackenschmidt looking enormous naturally, right? Of course, genetics has to do with it. But, you know, all these guys have pretty awesome physiques. Um, and, you know, their, their genetics, of course, will be a factor. But, you know, it's not necessary, is it? Steroids, no. These are great books. These books from the 1920s, from the Bronze Era of Bodybuilding, talking about what I think are truly good topics to talk about, and I will be sharing some of these informations on my channel to come. So, yeah, that's a really good comparison as well here of some of these more modern books with the old uh, publications from the past. If you've enjoyed this uh, What's in the Mail, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era book and leave me your comments and thank you for watching. If you'd like to support my acquisition of such wonderful literature, these works of art, please donate via PayPal, become a Patreon, visit my website for out-of-print books and courses on old-school bodybuilding and physical culture. And of course, um, you can also donate uh, your books, magazines, memorabilia, uh, by getting in touch with me via email. And of course, if you wish to collaborate also, just get in touch via email. That's it for me. Hope you've enjoyed these beautiful covers. Oh, these books are just beautiful. Hard covers written by L. Liederman. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now. As a natural bodybuilder, it is imperative to know your own testosterone levels as they are a reflection of the anabolic environment created by your diet and training. I would highly recommend using the male hormone test kit from Let's Get Checked and make sure you use my code GOLDEN30 for a 30% discount. Again, the advantage of checking yourself regularly is that you will know how well your body is anabolically primed to put on the much desired muscle you are working for. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Vince Deronda's approach to bodybuilding, his principles, and all these tips of wisdom that he has, I mean, there's so much stuff that probably hasn't been proven by science, and it will take science to 
prove or disprove uh, Vince, but to be honest, these three books, I believe, which I call the classic physique bundle, are the best books that Vince ever came out with. And they, of course, are the Wild Physique, the Master Series, and the Pro Series. Have a look at it this way. The Wild Physique, I believe, is like the ABCs of Vince Gironda's principles to bodybuilding. He teaches you the exercises and his principles. But how do you put them together? Well, the Master Series is a 14-month program of using all of these principles, all of the diets that Vince came out with, all of the exercises. And believe me, it's a brilliant, brilliant program. Many people have used it. I know I know personally a lot of uh, bodybuilders that have actually used it and uh, f made fantastic results with it. And of course, the Pro Series was a book that he came out with later on, specially targeted for uh, getting into competition. It's just the, these three books, as I call it, the classic physique bundle, uh, Vince's best work, and available, of course, at www.goldenerabookum.com. Now, the Pro Series of Bodybuilding, which was targeted for professional bodybuilders, is a contains six programs, each of which go for two months each, so it's a whole year, uh, again, in preparation for competition. Online training is now available, including my new program, Novice to Classic, a program geared towards beginners and novices looking at developing a classic physique, as well as Classic Cut, geared at those who wish to lose weight and gain muscle fast. Details available at www.goldenerabooking.com. Need a bodybuilding poster for your gym or office? Then check out ironmanmagazinearchive.smugmug.com for the highest quality posters on the planet. Scroll through the galleries of all the legends, including greats such as Arnold, Frank Zane, Sergio Oliva, Serge Nubre, Tom Platts, and Larry Scott, and much, much more, and select your poster now. To support your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm for merchandise, including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases, and much, much more. Once again, at teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. I don't think that Bill Phillips looked at it as I want to compete against them. I want to destroy them. If they pass legislation basically making any type of food supplement a prescription item, that would be the end of death of the entire food supplement industry. In the 1960s, the sports supplement industry was barely emerging. I think the reason why Joe Weider was so successful was he had Arnold on his side. He wasn't selling supplements. He was in the dream business. Joe Weider was a marketing genius. People would say the promotions or the endorsements back then were cheesy. To me, it wasn't. I loved it. Fitness was taking off. You know, fitness became cool. You had a lot of readers that wanted to be like the stars that they idolized. Bill's strength is his marketing savvy. He's a marketing genius. Got it, got it. It's only vitamin. The right of American citizens to have free access to dietary supplements of their choice. Consult your physician, you might as well consult the next guy you meet on the street. They don't know a damn thing about vitamins and nutrition. The dietary supplement industry became the number two most regulated industry. Nuclear, dietary supplements, pharmaceutical. We are more regulated than drugs. They come in and you uh, need to allow the FDA. They have jurisdiction. The enforcement is kind of the questionable side of it and how do they really get a handle on this monster? A lot of people tell me that the dietary supplement industry is completely unregulated. It's the wild, wild west out there. It's a free for all. That could not be further from the truth. A dietary supplement is not allowed to have a side effect. I always say the pharmaceutical has to have a minimum of 100 side effects in order for it to be a drug. And now, it's a $40 billion industry and growing. That's the really interesting thing, is the cast of characters from the 80s, when it was kind of iffy, to now, when it's a lot more legitimate. They made it sound cutting edge, revolutionary, and different, and I want that. That's cool. We are in this industry to improve our health. It's not just a vanity project here. We're working on our lifeline. We eat a certain way to improve our health. We train a certain way to improve our health. Supplements are just that. They supplement your work, your graft, your nutrition. Uh, they demonize dietary supplements, but they say all you need is real food. Well, what's a real food? 
they pump you up and get you hard, stronger, faster, bigger. Doc, I want to take this weight gain. I want to take this pre-workout. Doctors, no, no way. I, that stuff, we don't know what's in that. It could be, no way. I'm not going to give you, it's going to kill the industry, bottom line. So I must have drank so much protein powder from age 15 to 18 that my head was going to explode. <laughs> I believed in metrics so much that I would probably punch somebody in the face if they tried to take it away from me.